Welcome to the futuristic world of a classic TV series that took us on a thrilling journey through Space Buck Rogers in the 25th century. If you're a fan or just curious about the show, you're in for a treat. In this video, we'll uncover some surprising, amusing, and even heart-wrenching facts about it. Ever wondered about lesser-known stories or facts that might interest you? Stick around because we've got a bunch coming your way. And it's not just about the show, we want to hear your memories too. Do you have a special moment linked to the TV series? Share it with us in the comments below. Whether it's a funny behind-the-scenes tale or a personal connection to the TV movie, we're all ears. So keep watching for those fascinating tidbits and don't forget to drop your own stories down below. Your memories add to the richness of this timeless series. Buckle up, space enthusiasts. It's time to explore the universe of Buck Rogers in the 25th century where each episode holds something funny, shocking, or even a bit sad. We'll dive into the heart of the show and its untold stories. Get ready for a nostalgic ride. And now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this show? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's celebrate the magic together. Stay tuned for more facts and heartfelt memories. Your comments might even be featured in an upcoming video, so don't miss out on the chance to be a part of the conversation. Blast off into the cosmos of Buck Rogers in the 25th century and let the stories unfold. Keep watching, keep commenting, and let's relive the magic together. Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, a TV series from 1979, had a big effect and still matters today. It influenced later sci-fi shows and movies. The futuristic ideas and tech it showed got people excited and inspired others to create. The way it showed space travel and exploring new places got folks interested in what's out there. One reason it's still important is the adventure, bravery, and hope it's all about. The main character, Buck Rogers, shows these qualities as he goes on his journey facing tough situations. His determination connects with viewers, making him a classic character. Also, the show talks about big issues and challenges, making people think about what's right and what's ahead for humanity. The show's impact goes beyond its time on TV. It opened doors for other sci-fi stories and helped make the genre better. Its cool effects and imaginative world building set a standard for future shows and having a diverse cast and strong characters broke new ground for including everyone in stories. Even today, Buck Rogers in the 25th century still grabs people's attention. Its themes of exploring new places, facing challenges, and never giving up still matter in today's world. Whether you're watching old episodes again or discovering it for the first time, you can't help but get caught up in the futuristic world of Buck Rogers. In short, Buck Rogers in the 25th century made a big impact and is still remembered today. It changed sci-fi and showed the power of imagination and storytelling. The actor, who graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London, passed away shortly before his debut as the Riddler on the Batman animated series in 2004. He faced money problems in 1999 and had to declare bankruptcy. To make ends meet, he worked as a security guard. His role in the 25th Century series was memorable and had a big impact on viewers. Despite his own troubles, he added depth to his character, making the show more popular. His training at the Royal Academy showed how dedicated he was to acting. Even though he had financial issues, he didn't give up and took on a simple job as a security guard. In short, the actor's dedication to acting shone through despite facing tough times. The actor Charles Robinson, known for his role in Night Court, sadly passed away just 27 days before his co-star from the show. After his death, he was cremated, and his family now keeps his ashes. Looking back at the famous show, the opening theme music, created by Johnny Harris, shows how the series continues to be remembered. In the first 45 seconds of the melody, Harris's original composition sets the tone and smoothly transitions to Stu Phillips' memorable main theme. Notably, during this part, the spinning sequence captivates audiences, showcasing Harris's musical talent. The collaboration of Harris and Phillips in creating this timeless theme is a highlight of the show's unique charm. Looking back with fond memories, fans still celebrate the work of these talented individuals, keeping the spirit of Night Court alive for generations. Mel, who originally came from Portland, Oregon, became close friends with the famous big band singer K. St. Germain Wells, who was also from Portland. Mel started working for Eagle Lion Pictures in 1950 and later started his own company called Prodhom Productions in 2005. Mel's journey in showbiz shows his strong dedication and business-mindedness. 
Buck Rogers and the 25th Century aired in 1979. Blanc, who voiced the character Buck Rogers, expressed his fondness for Bugs Bunny in an interview in January 1989. Blanc described Bugs Bunny as tough. Blanc's famous line, Riddle me this, Batman, from Batman, became popular. In 1989, he sued his adoptive parents over mishandling his trust fund. He earned $70,000 per episode of Different Strokes in the early 1980s. Upon turning 18, he found out his parents had more money than him from his trust fund. He successfully sued them for $38 million and won a one $280,000 settlement. He never spoke to them again. Buck Rogers in the 25th Century premiered in 1979 and gained significant recognition over time. Erin Gray, known for her role as Colonel Wilma Deering in the series, was inducted into the Demolay Hall of Fame on April 27, 1987. She has familial connections to notable figures in the industry, including being the ex-stepdaughter of Christine Kaufman, Andrea Savio, and Leslie Curtis, as well as the stepdaughter of Jill Vandenberg Curtis. In November 2004, Gray participated in the Celebrity Blackjack and Slot Tournament at the Riviera Hotel Convention Center in Las Vegas, NV. Throughout her career, she has contributed to the entertainment industry with her memorable portrayal of Colonel Wilma Deering and Buck Rogers in the 25th century, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. The Earth Starfighter in the series was designed by Ralph McQuarrie. Originally, it was meant for Battlestar Galactica as the Colonial Viper. When Galactica producers chose another design, this one found its place in our series. He's a passionate ancient arts enthusiast, teaching Tai Chi and Kai Gong at UCLA. His journey with Warner Brothers began when one of their voice actors passed away. Natalie Wood, well known for her role in the 60s film Gypsy, faced challenges in the 70s when what people liked in entertainment changed. But in 1976, things got better for her with the success of Charlie's Angels. This helped her get more acting jobs where she could show her skills. One memorable role she had was on the TV show Law and Order Special Victims Unit. She played the uncle of her real-life son, Chris Orbach. People liked this because it felt real and made her acting more interesting. Looking back, Natalie Wood's journey in acting shows how she could bounce back from tough times and change her career. After Charlie's Angels, she kept doing good work in entertainment. In summary, Natalie Wood was a talented actress who could adapt to challenges in her career. Her role in Law and Order Special Victims Unit showed her skills and made people remember her. This story shows how she could keep going even when things got hard. In the 1979 TV show Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, the main actor, despite playing famous scary movie roles, doesn't like watching scary movies because he doesn't like getting scared. The show was popular because it showed life in the far off future. One of the actors got nominated for a Grammy in 2003 for a spoken album for children, showing their talent beyond acting. Also, some actors who later joined the cast had appeared in different roles in Law and Order episodes, showing the variety of talent in the show. Michael Imperioli and J.K. Simmons also played different characters, even though they weren't part of the main cast. The show is still remembered for its futuristic storytelling, mixing adventure, and suspense in an interesting way.